If I told you like my real worst experiences, like some people would be really pissed. <laughs> Classical piano was my background until my teenage years and then I started going to underground parties in Chicago. Did that for two years straight pretty much, every weekend for a couple years straight. And that's how I first really got into house music and techno. There was a defining moment where I realized that I wanted to make music of my own. I go to college, I'm studying classical piano, four to six hours a day in a room by myself, and um, started connecting with some people in Miami who were making IDM. I started to listen to the music that they listened to, stuff like Plaid, early artificial intelligence, B12, Black Dog, all this kind of stuff, and I was like, oh my god, like. This is music, these are compositions. These are songs that you listen to in headphones and you learn more and it's, it's almost like classical music and it's really exciting and it's happening now. And then I'd go back into my room and play my Beethoven and be like, God, well, how many times has this song been recorded? I think my whole attitude the whole time has just been like, sure, I can do that. Sometimes I get ahead of myself, but I've always been like, yeah, I can do that. I've always just kind of said yes, and people have asked me continually to do things, is the best way I can put it. Playing out and stuff, like, I'd get offers open for bigger artists, and I'd be like, whoa. And it's like, sure, why not? You know, what's the, what's the point of saying no? What's the, how am I gonna learn or grow as a person if I'm in the audience watching someone else open up? Everything that happens to you before your performance affects your performance kind of day you're having, like your mood and life. I need to be stimulated. If I can be in one place and I'm meeting new people and a lot of things are happening, that's fine. But if everything around me starts to be too stable and I don't feel like I'm growing as much as a person as I could, I start to get a little bit restless. My favorite place that I played so far is Fabric in London. Yeah, Fabric to me is the best club I've ever played at. It's just really dynamic, very exciting, the sound is perfect, everything's perfect. I'm sure it's a very generic answer to say like fabric is you know, one of your favorite places that you've played, but it's true. So I've had a long, very cool relationship with The Bunker in New York. The Bunker has supported me for a long time and I think they've supported a lot of people from the States who make electronic music. They're really important to the scene, I think, in the United States. So The Bunker always has a special place in my heart. Played their New Year's Eve this past year and it was awesome. In Chicago, my favorite venue is Sonatech. I had a monthly there for a few years and Sonatech has a Function 1 sound system, 200 capacity, which is perfect for this kind of music. You know, having 200 people in techno was like, right on. The place that I've been playing in Berlin is Weekend Club. They have a crowd that's not this jaded. When you're playing a live set, they're, they're kind of like eating up everything that you're doing. It feels like a show, it feels like a performance. If you're doing a live PA at a place that closes at a certain time, it feels more like a performance. I love the view. It's really cool to be up in an office building in Berlin and it's all windows, but somehow they've worked out the sound where it sounds really good right now. It sounds great, you have people who are really into it or aren't jaded, you're in Berlin and it's pretty awesome. The last favorite place to play for me is South America. Anywhere in Chile and Argentina is good for me. Um, I've played a lot of places in both countries and I've, I just feel really comfortable. I've enjoyed living there and I love the people. I love playing for them. I love the other musicians down there. I've played big clubs, I've played little clubs, and everywhere I've had a good experience. My first compositions, I have them on cassette tape somewhere, were just like insane. I'm, <laughs> I would be scared to play them for people because I sound, they sound like, um, maybe like music concrete, but just it, that music too sounds sometimes like the person's insane. Oh man, um, my worst experience on tour. I don't know, getting robbed. Um, that, I don't know if that's, that wasn't my worst experience though. That'd be, that'd be like an easy one. <laughs>